is the cost of internet connectivity. It's enormous. It's so big that the International Telecommunication Union who produced these graphs are, is cheating. Look at this graph. Here it says up to 150. The developed countries pay uh, uh, 2.4 or 1.5 percent of their uh, gross national income uh, to internet connectivity per person. And here, although this graph says 150, it's, it's actually basically 234. <laughs> and it has come down in the last years, but still more than 100 percent. And if you look at the cost of internet connectivity here in Europe, um, uh, this graph that goes to 150, otherwise you, uh, you see a little bit here up to 1, 2. And if you look at Africa, it's actually 650. So if you put this graph as it should be, and it should be 650, you don't see any cost in the West and in Africa. It is just horrendous. Um, so there's some comments about it. But if you look at our current connectivity in the, in the much environment where we are lucky to be terrestrially connected now, by the mobile towers, we have made a special line. We are paying somewhere between five and eight thousand dollars per month for a two megabit connection. Now, these are the, uh, this is the area that the macroeconomics say that they earn one dollar a day. Let it be two, average, and that's where we pay eight thousand dollars per month. While um, here at university, I'm not sure what it will be costing per megabit, but let's see at home. I know my parents' situation here in, in Europe, they pay about 30 euros and they get a 40 megabit or something. Um, so the people that have the least uh, purchasing power pay the most and horrendously much actually. These are figures that I would ask you if you get a 2 megabit and even you work here at the, the, the university, would you still pay for it to be able to do your internet right now in your email? Well, we have to in our rural area because even a satellite connection with a uh, an, a 64 kilobit second uh, satellite connection kilobits we who is still doing that is still 1,100 dollars per month via the satellite. So if we talk about business cases, that is, that's an interesting uh, discussion there. But this is how it uh, what what it costs. It, this is how it is, and there's the only way to be uh, connected. So there are many countries that pay more than 100% of the gross uh, national individual, uh, you know, uh, what they earn uh, to, to telecommunication cost. More than 100% of what you earn is going into telecommunications. And then you're lucky when you get, get an email through. Of course, there is talk about uh, the mobile fire versus the fixed connectivity. Uh, these are figures, for recent figures, out of Kenya where it's claimed wonderfully that 4.7 million people are connected to the internet via the mobile. So 4.7, uh, the same report tells the total connectivity of Kenya. The total connectivity of Kenya is in megabit per second, 202. So 202 megabit per second for the whole of Kenya with 4 million people shared. Um, these are numbers that is mind-boggling. And that's still the situation today, and of course it will be solved tomorrow, but unfortunately tomorrow is still a long way a ahead, because this was also said to be solved three years ago. There's still some, um, some miracles to happen, some real breakthrough to happen to solve this problem. The continent is responsible for that, but also the international community. In the meantime, we need subsidy to get going, because if we don't connect it, we will not have all these um, benefits of the internet and in rural areas of of Africa, even in cities, it's 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 deploring. 